Good evening, everybody. In high school football, undefeated Kirksville travels to Moberly on Friday. It'll be a classic matchup between the size of Moberly and the speed of Kirksville. This will be the first game the Tigers have played on real grass. How will it affect the team's speed? Yeah, I think it'll probably slow us down a little bit. We're pretty fast on, on turf right now. we got a lot of skilled guys that uh, can move pretty well on the turf. So getting our foot in early on in the, in the game is going to be really important for us. In the trenches. Yeah, I think the line of scrimmage will be key. You know, who can control that? Um, you know, we had our ups and downs last week on the line of scrimmage. Hopefully we can be more consistent, but we know it'll be a huge challenge. Marlin will be looking to start his season 3-0. Once again, the key to the Wild Cats' success will be a strong running game. I can think of four or five people we can put in there that can run the football for us. And, uh, you know, it, they know what to do. We'll just take whatever the defense gives us. Putnam County will be searching for its first win when they travel to Trenton. The midgets are close to exploding on offense. It's just a matter of when it will happen. Oh, we've got a good offense. We've got great kids. We just got to shore up the mental mistakes. We've got, you know, we got a good running back. We got a good quarterback, and got a big offensive line. We got, we got, you know, the the possibilities to do good things, great things. Fairfield just might be the best 0-2 team in the area. Their two losses are by a total of eight points, but that's all behind them as the Trojans focus on stopping Washington. Probably picking up on the running game and keeping strong on the front line because we know they're going to come hard at us. So we just got to be ready to go. We got to be ready to con make contact. Pekin has looked solid as the eighth-ranked Panthers are undefeated and will host Linville Sully on Friday. And Linville Sully poses, you know, brings a lot of, they're very fundamentally sound. Uh, they have some speed and some big guys up in front. So. Uh, you know, we have a challenge in front of us, and being the first district game, this will be a big game as far as the district outcome. In golf, Ottumwa's Matthew Walker was the medalist at the Bulldogs' big tournament yesterday. I birdied the first hole, hit a good wedge shot, and had about five feet for a birdie and made that. I kind of slipped back to the bogey on two, but bounced back with the birdie on three and kind of went off from there. And 